their game plan is leaning more towards A now, but still. Ooh, that footstep yeah. could cost KNG. Oh boy. Oh, eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taps into the first two. Nice. He's one left guy. Oh! Oh, Tarek's walk playthrough. Yeah, the timing on this was insane. Beautiful. <laughs> I just had a really good feeling, and I think I heard someone like back away from the smoke. And it's definitely a big risk in a round like that because if I do give him my gun, um, it could definitely hurt us. So it was kind of a calculated risk, and it definitely worked out. Um, it's something that isn't very expected for the CTs to be pushing through Banana because it's kind of like a... You don't really make that play, especially on like an eco round, because there's no reason to take that risk. So it is unnecessary risk, but when it pays off in that way, it definitely messes with the other team's head. It shows that we're playing balls to the wall and we don't really care. And I think it was a big win, not only in the sense of the round, but also for the mental warfare of the match. Um, just showing that, hey, like these guys are really pushing our feet in and uh, it definitely messes with your head. They smoke ladder, they're heavy mid. Come on, I'm in. Oh. Three out sandwich. Three. Here we've got it, the big peak down the lane from the trains. Taco takes to the top, Ethan drops him. Sir, combat offing, looking for another, Woo. and he slaps back KNG a third. Cirque is out of this world! And now while TRK tries to claw this back... Nice. Oh, sir. That run was gigantic. This is just the perfect example of what I think showcases that Cirque is the best opera in the world. He's so versatile. He's in a position where he should die after he gets one kill, but his movement is so good as an opera that he turned a 1v4 into four 1v1s. And that's so hard to do, as especially as an opera, because there's time between each reload and each shot, and he just makes it look so easy. That's, the, that's He always does this kind of stuff, and it's just... These are the kinds of plays that our team is known for, and anyone can pop off at any time, and it just so happens that Cirque had the off this round, and he won us the round single-handedly by himself. One's really low. One is one HP, yeah. But he could very well get stabbed by Stan. He's gonna get executed, and now it's the straight up 1v1 with only 19 HP for K Serato, but incredibly low time. You got it? I think you got it. I think you got it. I think you got oh it. I think you got God. it for real. Oh my God. Uh, I already know this one. Stan is left flank against Fury at that round. <laughs> <laughs> this one came down to the wire. Obviously, I had 0 0.09 seconds left to defuse after. Uh, it was such a close round. So the way this round started was I thought the round was over to be honest as I was flanking I was gonna try to just either get an op or just get an, an extra kill to bring their economy down But Vince ended up getting three kills outside by himself on the bomb site Which left me in, in just a 1v2 and I just had enough time after I killed the first guy I was it was communicated to me that the other guy was low So I used my nades as best as I could to kind of gain space and it just so happens that he was in the position that I mollied and I guess since he was such low HP the molly could have potentially spread to him, so he kind of panicked and jumped away, and that just gave me that, like, 0 0.01 second I needed to, to, to just shoot him and get on the bomb right away, and I had, it was probably the closest defuse of my career, and I, I can't believe I got lucky enough to, to win that, but I, I mean, it's all down to Vince, to be honest, and his 3k outside, he set up the 1v2 for me nicely. You can lurk, you can lurk. Yeah, it's flashing in front yeah, of it. Scout there. Smoking deep, smoking deep. One more dead, CT last guy. See there. Oh, oh my god. Sorry, my god. Oh, you get it, Vince. I don't give You get it. I think cross CT. He's right side. Let me kill him. Nice. 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 Get your nice. Nice. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. We're all used to Breezy doing this kind of thing. Ah, uh, this moment in the match, Vince just came along. We were giving the information they were mid, and he just took the initiative and went. And again, it's kind of really well technical and spatial awareness based on our communications, showing that our communication was doing good. He was able to get a full picture of where the things were. But then Vince just went to how we jokingly Vince go kill mode. He just started killing people and tapping one shots. And in the end, Ethan had the last kill and we're all yelling, no, let Vince get it. And then he got a fourth and then that's when I started yelling, let him get the ace. Vince just goes and get the last one. It's nice to build a little stat on the, like padding on the stats and mo momentum when you kill all five of the enemy team. It always feels good. Flash your mind. Flash your city. First, in, the smoke. in the smoke. In the smoke. The plant. Smoking deep CT. I'm gonna try to make a play. Push back off. But Cirque, deep position on construction. A smoke for TRK to try and peer over. Oh, here. <laughs> this play was really lucky in my favor just because, first of all, I think it was good teamwork on Cirque and myself. I told Cirque to push up in ruins and post up on my spawn. And I also threw this deep spawn smoke to kind of pressure them as well because I knew we were in a 2v4 situation. 
at the start and then I knew like we had to make a play we had to do something to try to turn it back into our favor and so I threw the deep smoke spawn I had Sir kind of cover my position while I got into position and then luckily all three of them were still far back enough behind my smoke and so they had to make a play flash through and I just saw it coming and I took advantage of, of that smoke play so it was just really down to like good teamwork by being Sir I feel. Cirque moves from Boiler back through App. Stan getting dangerously close to the player. One's big foot. Fuck him in the smoke. Have the right. And he knows that TRK is close. He goes down. It is all on Taco. A player by the pit and one up. Lane, lane, lane. He knows your holes. Find it back left. He's looking for the second, and the smoke's gonna no block him off. No Taco, no he's got the kit and almost the kill. It's only 12-8. Close, right, close. Close. Closer, yeah. Oh, he's gonna have to stick this to Molly. No! Yes! 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 Nice! Nice. Boys, congratulations! Boy. To explain what we were feeling in that moment, just watch that little clip of Zeus again. One of the big things that we've been trying to do is we have to trust ourselves and how good we are. And a lot of times our decisions were falling into safe habits. And Peter in this round, basically his mentality, and I think he even calmed this. He's like, I'm not scared of you. He lived like over time to close out the tournament, everything like that. He is not scared. 2v2, he takes a risk, goes instead of hiding and trying to wait for the guy to make him say he goes and actively gets in the guy's face and, and tries to find him not only tries but actually finds him get the kill putting us in the 2v1 to close out the match and the tournament like gigantic balls of steel right there to do that kind of a play we were up but he had that throughout the whole match as you saw in other clips peter is just insane like that cold as ice it's just such a huge relief for us we've been at the top before we haven't won anything in such a long time uh we finally won something again which we feel like we kind of deserve just because of all the hard work we've been putting in and it just it just felt so good to finally win something again thank you guys so much for following us for cheering for us for us this tournament blast this win it just shows fight and that's what you can expect from eg we're always going to be fighting for these tournaments we're going to be giving it our all and we're going to be trying to make everyone proud make our families make you guys proud the organization and most importantly even for ourselves we we really want this we want to make history and that's not overnight it's going to be a long process but this is just the start. I hope you guys keep following us. Keep rooting for us. Thank you so much. Zoo's out. So I just want to thank you guys for all the support throughout this entire Blast event. And also all the fans that have been sticking through with us uh, through the hard times and also the good. Uh, you guys are really a part of this win with us. And hopefully we can celebrate more together in the future as we move into more events coming soon.